All right, we're going to go through how to graph the graphing section of the enzymes activity onto Google Sheets. You guys have access to Google Sheets through your FWC account. All you need to do is open up a blank spreadsheet. So in this, you can hit new and then Google will open up something very similar to this. Remember to give it a title. So you could call it graphing enzymes or uh, any other name, just as long as you remember where it's at. Then all you do is you highlight this. Highlight it, I'm clicking before time and then click and drag. Don't go below it or outside of this. Make sure it's contained within here. And then just right click, copy, and then head over here, right click, and then paste it into your blank spreadsheet. Same thing with the second graph because we're gonna do them all at once. Highlight the entire thing, right click, copy and then back over here you could leave a gap you don't have to leave a gap it'll make it easier if you leave a gap now make sure that you're pacing into the top if you paste it in near the bottom it will make a lot of this stuff look a little wonky and it's just easier to have it uh, set in a uh, in a constant and the last one is your h graph copy gap and then final column okay so how do you actually make the graph itself so highlight the one you want to make. So we're going to start with temp, uh, time versus the amount of product form. You're going to highlight, insert, and then chart. Give it a second, and then it should pop up automatically. All right, and here's your chart that you need. Now what you can do is you could change different things on here just by double clicking. Now if your chart did not show up looking exactly like this, under setup, you could type a chart you're using. We want to use a line chart for this. You can either use line chart or smooth line chart. Either way, it does not matter. The results will come out exactly the same. Same thing for the second one. Just highlight your second graph, go to insert, and then chart. Now, the problem with this one, you could see in comparison to the chart that's on the left, is that we are missing our label on the y axis. So, to pull that up, what you do is you click on the x axis, it'll come up with charts and titles, go to vertical axis. Name this one action rate, and you want that to be per minute because you always get now. You can double click on this and shorten these up to be just enzyme A and enzyme B, like, but we're just going to, it honestly doesn't matter either way as long as you remember to add in y axis. Then the, the final thing, so move that out of the way, final chart being your pH chart, insert chart. This will come up and the exact same thing. You're gonna to need to click on pH, go to horizontal axis, and vertical axis, exact same action. Almost per minute. I noticed on this one that I spelled wrong, so we can go back and easily change it. So now you have all three of your graphs for your assignment, all right? So now how do you port this over to this assignment? Scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click just below this line. Notice how your cursor's right here. So you, you can um, click on your first chart, these three dots up in the corner, click copy chart over here, right click. Now linking is if you want to actually link the spreadsheet together. So any changes you make over here will change over here. It doesn't matter either way, just hit paste. Now this is important in order to get them to move in order, but you need to press return. That is very important or enter, I'm sorry. Uh, same thing with this one, your second graph. So on to copy chart, dots, right click, paste. Make sure it's important to press return with the last chart, copy, right click, and paste. It doesn't matter that they take up three separate pages because they're going to be turned digitally. Now with that, you should be able to answer questions six through 14 on this worksheet. When you are finished, make sure you upload your completed assignment to PowerSchool. Do not delete the assignment or delete the graphs or change it on your turned in assignment. But that is how you do spreadsheets.